I'm Stephanie and this is my husband Steve and this month we are roughing it. We are going camping and we are actually going tent camping. <laughs> Steve's excited and I'm like ah! But he did um, make sure that my two requirements are met. We have to have air mattresses and we have to have a toilet in the tent. So I have a bucket. I'll have to show you that later. <laughs> so we are going to go to Twin Lakes State Park in the state of Virginia. And Sounds like a good time to me. Yeah, what all did they have there? They had swimming and kayaking and fishing and hiking and all kinds of stuff. So once we get there, we'll show you what it's like. But here, our little Kona is full. Completely full. You did remember the tent, right? <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, we made it to our home for the next two nights. Site number 25 at Twin Lakes State Park. And can you believe Steve has got me tent camping at 55 years old? I love this man so much that I decided that I'd go tent camping with him. Sounds like a bunch of bull. <laughs> I'm tent camping with you, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Who else thinks this looks a little sketchy? What's that? Getting that <laughs> patch that close to your face. <laughs> I think it looks a little sketchy. Well, we don't want to go not, to the emergency good thing room. You're not doing it. Good thing. <laughs> We might have to go to the emergency room if I had to do it. And we got a place right next to the bathhouse. And on this end is the ladies. So I am a happy camper. This is site number 25, which is in a great location. It's in the center of the campground. Right over here is the bathhouse, which I like being close to that. Over here we have our table with our tablecloth, all of our charging stuff. We've got a citronella candle. Hopefully that'll help tonight with the bugs. Um, we've got a couple of coolers. We've got our trash bag up here. And these are really nice camp chairs with our little table and a place to put our drinks. Behind that is our fire pit. And I made these fire starters. They have lit from the dryer and melted um, candles in here with a little bit of sticks and wicks to get them started. And I just um, molded them in muffin pans. So there we go. That They really work well. All right, and then these are our accommodations for the next two nights. Come on in. To the right, we have our bedroom and it has a nice comfy bed yes i will not sleep on the ground any longer i'm too old for that but we do and this ground is all rocks so that would not be comfortable at all here's our ac it'll go up a little higher got to keep that that wind moving and let's see get up from there Go right through here, and we have our very own bathroom and dressing room. Here is what they call a luggable loo. And you know what? It will hold up to 300 pounds, so neither Steve nor I are anywhere near 300 pounds. We are good to go. Even though the bathhouse is right there, in the middle of the night, having it really close is very helpful. And. We have these double duty, no, yeah, double duty toilet waste bags that you put in here. It's supposed to make your pee into a gel and it's supposed to keep it from stinking. So that's, that's a plus. And back here I have a little place with my toilet paper in there. We're good to go. So that is pretty much our tent. And back in the back of the car we have our food supply and everything else we need for this camp out. Now here is the beach and the boat rentals. There's lots of people enjoying the water today. Yeah. We're gonna enjoy it tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Here we are going to Hydra's Trail State Park. Let's, yeah, let's get them out. We're 
are we? Does it say you are here? I guess. So this is the hybrid track. Yeah. But yeah, we're right here. All right. Is this the bike? I don't know. Hybrid Trail, Virginia State Parks. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's interesting. It says, in memory of Robert Bob Munson, DCR planner, whose great spirit, sense of humor, passion for outdoor recreation, and dedication to developing parks and rail trails across the Commonwealth was an enduring gift to us all. Happy trails, Bob. They've made a lot of rails and trails in Virginia. Maybe that's this. Man on horse before crossing the bridge. You can't ride, no, your, you horse can't ride your horse on the bridge. We have a little picnic table here. We made it to the high bridge. There have been higher bridges not so long and longer bridges not so high, but taking the height and length together, this is perhaps the largest bridge in the world. Hmm, interesting. This is a high bridge. See? Woo! Way down there. And those are parts of the old bridge. Yeah. And there's the river that this high bridge goes over. <laughs> there's a little bit of white water down there. Mile zero zero west, zero zero east. So it's the center of the bridge, huh? Yeah, if you look. Oh, this is the National Recreation Trail. Yeah. And Department of Conservation and Recreation, Virginia State Parks. This here is the trail built on the site of the high bridge in Virginia. And this high bridge was originally built in 1854 I believe and it was on the 21 brick piers and it was 2400 square foot no 2400 feet long and it was between 60 and 125 feet high in different parts of the bridge and originally the original bridge had the railroad tra tracks on it and it had a pedestrian bridge beside it, so you could walk on down, haul the railroad came. I bet, but other than that, it was probably quite interesting. And it had a wagon. And then it also had a wagon um, bridge underneath the the train tracks. So this is quite interesting. It also was part of the war between the states, and the confederates went across the bridge i'm not sure which way they went but they went across the bridge and they burnt it so that the union soldiers couldn't catch up to them but they did finally catch up to them in come rolling virginia so this is also a historical site here's a caterpillar just hanging out in the air we walked the trail from this parking lot to the other side of the high bridge and back. How far was that? The bridge was a quarter of a mile, so that was a half a mile. And then probably another another quarter, quarter of, a of a mile. So probably three quarters of a mile. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yep. So if you're ever in All this bridge area. Or the longest bridge that height. Yep. So if you're ever in the area of Farmville, Virginia, and you want to check out one of the national trails and state parks, come on out to High Bridge Trail State, state park. park. There you go. There it is. There we go. We made it through the night. How was your evening? No, it was good. Good. And I have gotten up and made him some breakfast burritos. We have watermelon, and I made me a egg mick um, bagel so we're going to enjoy our breakfast and then we're going to get ready for the adventures of the day i'm not looking so pretty quite this morning we decided to come over to bear creek lake state park and check it out over here they do have boat rentals here i'll show you the fees at the moment this is june of 2022 
They got a nice playground. They got a place up there where you can get goodies and rent the kayaks and paddle boats. It's right around that tree. And then we got some um, picnic tables and grills. And then a little, yeah, the boat rentals are over there. A little playground right here on the beach. And then they have it roped off to where you can go swimming. Now it looks like they have some kids stuff too. Yeah. Oh, and uh, sand volleyball. We got a recommendation to try out Yoder's Market. They have baked goods and a deli, and they have um, deli sandwiches, which is what we just got. And here it looks like that. It's a tiny little place. The bread was nice and fresh, and the deli meat was good. And what'd you think, honey? It was good. It was a good sandwich. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to get ready and storm. We're going to go back over to the campground and see what it looks like over there. We just came over to the lake. Do you remember what this lake was called? This is Godwin Lake. Godwin Lake. And we took a little dip and there is the lake. Well, let's see. Can you see the lake? Oh, the right around. Prince Edward, Prince Charles. Prince Edward. Prince Edward. Yep. Yeah. So it was actually pretty nice, but you cannot see anything. But past like four inches, it's pretty yucky looking. It's lake water. It's it is lake yucky. water. Okay, it's not yucky. It's lake water. They have a like roped off area for swimming over there. They have little kid area with slides and logs and things to play on. And it's actually got a pretty nice little beach here. You know, it's been many years since I've been in a lake. Has it been a lot of years since you've been in a lake? Yep. Yep. A lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years. <laughs> but we had to come take a dip. And it actually felt pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's our last morning here camping. And I am without makeup and before shower. Sorry about that. Steve looks good, though. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> And we just had some pancake, blueberry pancakes and bacon. Let's see if you can see. We are going to enjoy breakfast. I'm going to get my shower and Steve's going to start, I guess, cleaning up the area and we'll pack up and get ready to go. There's one more thing I wanted to show you all about this campground, which is the showers. It's great. You have your own room. It's pretty big. You got your shower. They've got a chair. They've got three different hanging things up here. They've got a hanger up here so you can put your um, soap and shampoo and everything. And they have a lockable door. So you're in here all by yourself and I believe they have four of these. And they have a sink over here for washing your dishes. Well, we're finished with our camping trip. Two nights in a tent with my honey. Did you have a good time? We had a good time. Well, if you can't go camping, do something, but get out, have some fun, and keep smiling. Bye! Bye.